Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at uh, making some visual adjustments to the basic audio guestbook uh, event. Uh, so we have provided a Canva template that you can use uh, to make it easy just to adjust the start screen countdowns and things like that. So let's jump in and have a look. Now, I must say, you don't have to use Canva. Uh, you could do all this in Photoshop or Illustrator or After Effects or anything really. But I find Canva sort of uh, nice and easy and there's lots of built-in assets uh, that you can use. So let's have a look. So what we've got here is really uh, the three main bits that we're going to customize, which is our start screen or our ready screen. Uh, if we scroll down, we've got our video countdown and the video countdown is in photo booth talk, I suppose, normally when you see the three, two, one and you're sort of getting ready to have your photo. But in this audio guest book, we're going to use that countdown screen as a way to play the uh, the greetings, so uh, please leave your message after the beep, that sort of thing. Now, this could be a static screen, but I've just used this animated GIF just to add a bit of visual interest to it. And then lastly, we have our default background, and the default background is basically uh, the screen that Breeze will use anytime you haven't specifically supplied a screen, so it'll sort of get picked up in other areas of the software. So let's go ahead and change this. So we're going to select that background and we're going to change it to a pinky blue hue and we're going to change the wording. So we're going to leave us a message, pick up the phone to leave a message or we'll say uh, for Steve. And we want a bit more branding on here. So I'm just going to grab this uh, to search for logo. I'm going to use this Eagle logo pop it up here, change that to off. And this is what I like about Canva. There's lots of these little elements in here. It makes it really easy to just jump in and modify things. So I've got a start screen that I'm pretty happy with. Then we'll scroll down. So we've got the video countdown. So basically the video countdown, as I said, this is actually going to be a, a movie file that we're going to export. Um, and it's also going to contain the audio from the greeting. So in Canva, if we click down here, which is, I guess, sort of like the timeline, we can see we've got this video clip and underneath it, we've got the sound. So we can adjust the sound, which we'll do in a second. But before we do that, I just want to change the background. I want it to match the one we did up the top. Um, so on the top layer here, we've got this animated GIF of the waveform and behind it is the black. So we can hit the position button just to bring up our layers. And then we can see we've got the black here. And then I can select the color picker and we'll just go for the same uh, pinky blue hue. So I'm happy with that. Um, so now we come down, we've got our audio. So if we click on duration and then hit the play button. Please, Please leave, leave your, your message, message at the beep. beep. When, when you're, you're finished, finished recording, recording hang, hang up, up the phone, phone to save, save your message. message. Okay, so that's the default audio that we've got, but we want to switch that out for something else. So let's delete that. And then I've got on my desktop some audio files, and these audio files are the, um, the, the phone ringing, the beep tone, and a greeting from a customer. <clears throat> so we'll just minimize that. And what we're going to do is drag on the phone ringing. Get that one. Yep, there we go. So that's uploaded. So because it was cloud-based, obviously with Canva, you have to wait a moment for the files to upload. Uh, we'll then drag on the message and just see here that's loading. So I'll just give that a moment. And did we get that? Yep, we'll just click that to bring that down there. And then we will add the beep. And we'll drag them in there too. So now we're going to have our ring, our greeting, and our beep. And we're just going to want to position that at the end here. Okay, so what we also need to do, we need to match the length of this video to the length of our audio, because remember what we're actually making here is a video screen, not an audio screen, if that makes sense. So we need to stretch out this video uh, to make it as long as all of our audio clips combined. So I'm just gonna 
try and cover that up. We'll put that there, should be about right. So we've got our beep, uh, ring, our greeting, and our beep. And then what we want to do is just drag that back so that finishes the same time um, as the end of our beep. So let's just um, come back here and preview this. Why, Why hello there? there? Is that so, a... I'm Laura. Sorry to be so to the phone. Leave us a message telling us how great we are. Embellish the welcome. Love, love you, love. love. Okay, great. So now what we've designed here is our, um, our our greeting screen with the visual and the audio elements to it as well. Uh, so it's going to pop this down by just clicking on that little thingy, and then we'll come down here and we'll go to our default background and we'll just run with the theme and we will make that same pinky blue. All right, so we've got our main screens here. So now we're going to export them out of Canva. So we're sort of going to do this one at a time so as not, not to get confused because some are going to be uh, images, some are going to be videos. So I'll hit the share button and we want to export this first page. So I'll say download and we don't want all pages. We just want page one and we want to export that one as a JPEG. So we'll do that. Now it's also important to make sure that we keep the size of the file uh, as, as the template was set. So we'll hit download. And I'll just take a moment to download that file. And then, so we've got that screen ready and then we can come back to share and we can say download again. This time we want to download the greeting or the video countdown as it is in Breeze. And we'll select video countdown and that will be an mp4 video so it's very important to make that a video and we'll go done download this will take a little bit longer to generate because it is a video but while that's happening we can share the third one and we'll say download we'll untick all of that and we'll just say page three which is the default underscore background and we want to make that a JPEG course. And we'll hit download. So I'll wait for that to download and we still have to wait for this video. So we'll just wait here. A few moments later. Okay, so that's downloaded. So let's have a look. We'll go to our downloads folder, make sure we've got everything we need. We have, oh, that is the wrong one. Okay, we have our video ready file, which is good. Uh, we have our default background is good and then we should have our greeting file video okay great so what we need to do and this is really important we now need to take these files so it's these three files so we'll copy these ones here and we'll copy those and we'll come over to Dropbox because that's how we're syncing our files to the iPad and we'll come into apps freeze booth for iPad events and we'll do this as Steve's audio party and we need to go into the portrait folder because in Breeze when you design an interface you have to design it whether it's for the portrait orientation or landscape orientation of the screen so this one's portrait okay so what we want to do is basically remove the uh, existing files or paste over them so we'll just say uh, copy paste and we'll replace now, one thing Canva doesn't do, which is a little bit annoying, it doesn't keep the name when it's a video file. So we're going to have to rename that file because in Breeze, uh, the names of files is very important because that's how it knows uh, where it's going to go in the software. So we have video countdown here, uh, which we need to be this one here. So we're going to delete the old version. Delete that. And then we're going to rename this one everyone to video counting but I will spell it correctly because spelling is important okay so we have those files done now all we need to do now is just make sure that they have synced 
um, to Dropbox, which they have. And we go back to the event editor. And this is the key thing here. Since we're making no other changes, uh, we have to open this event, double click it, and we'll go into show advanced settings. And we need to press this button here that says regenerate manifest. Now, what does that do? No one knows, it's a secret. What you do need to know is that you just gotta press it. Every time you basically update an event or change a graphic, just press regenerate manifest. Don't ask why, you just do it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna close it, we'll okay that. We'll just check again. Dropbox is up to date, which is great. So then we can come across to the iPad. We'll exit out of the event that we're in and we'll go to Steve's audio party. We'll hit update. We'll wait for that to sync. And I can see it's gonna pull down the new files. We'll go back, we'll hit run. And so now we have the new start screen and when I pick the handset up. Why hello, hello there. there, it's Adam. And Laura, sorry we can't come to the phone. Leave us a message. So let's jump into that gallery that we had hidden up the top here. And it's picked up that default background that I was talking about. So we didn't have to specifically design that gallery screen or what it looked like. It's just gonna use that default graphic that we, that we also put into the assets folder. So there you go. That's how you take this sort of very basic event that we created and you're starting to manipulate it into something that, uh, that becomes yours. Uh, but let's just take it one little step further and let's see if we can make something a little bit more interesting for the start screen and just animate a couple of elements on it. So we'll jump back over to Canva. And what we'll do in Canva is we'll select this text and we'll go to the animate option that they have here. And we'll find an animation that we like. Uh, maybe we could do something to just get a bit of attention uh, and they have a wiggle, a wiggle feature. Um, so let's have a look at that. I think that's probably going to work. Uh, we'll look at the wiggle. Yep, I think we're good with that. Okay, great. So what we're going to do now is just close this back up. And we'll come up to our start screen here. We'll hit share. We'll go download. But this time the start screen is going to be a video file. And we just don't want to download all of them as videos. We're just going to do this first screen. We'll hit done. And then we'll just wait for that to generate and download. A few moments later. Okay, once it's downloaded, we will go have a look for it. And it will be this file here. So we'll copy it. And then we need to go back to Dropbox, Apps, Breeze Booth for iPad. And then we'll go into the Steve's Party event. Okay, so we don't have an existing uh, video ready screen, so we're gonna be adding a new one. So we'll paste that file in. And to make it work, we just need to give it the correct name. Now we already have a video ready JPEG, and this video is gonna sit on top of that. So we don't have to get rid of that screen because this video is going to cover it. What we do need to do is give it the correct name. So it's going to be following the same naming convention. It's going to be video underscore ready, but dot MP4. So we'll call it video underscore ready dot MP4. Oh, we don't need to do that because it's already there. There we go. Video underscore ready. That's great. Then we have to come back to the event editor, edit the event, advanced settings, regenerate manifests. And we just need to make sure that's all synced. Okay. And then we'll come back to the iPad. Next thing out of this, hit the update button. It's downloading that new video ready file. We'll go back and we'll go run. And now we've got sort of the weekly uh, ready screen. Now what's going to happen is after it's played through once, it's going to stop. So what we can do is make that loop. And the way we make that loop in Breeze is to add the word loop to the file name. So we'll come back in here. We've got video underscore ready. We'll rename it 
underscore loop and hit enter. Then we'll pop back to the event editor and hit that regenerate manifest button. And then we can come back to the iPad, exit back out and update again. Okay, we'll run that and this time that should keep on wiggling forever and ever and ever. So there we go. So we've used Canva to start customizing this a little bit further with some more video elements and it's starting to look really nice. So I hope this starts to give you a bit of an idea of what you can do with this. This is just a very basic event. We'll have some more videos that will show you some more advanced things you can do to it. And we'll start looking at adding in photo elements and actual video elements into the capture side of things as well. Any questions, just jump into the comments as usual.